everyone, it's Sarah and welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to make my cotton shopping bag. It is super easy to make. If you can do a single crochet and learn how to do a triple, you're set. This bag is super quick to make, super fun to use, and it's also a great way to use up a lot of those cotton yarns. It measures about 12 inches by 12 inches, including the handle, but it's really easy to make it longer if you want to. Now this is a free crochet pattern on my blog, and you can find that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. To make one of these easy shopping bags, you're going to need about four and a half ounces of a number four medium weight cotton. If you have one of these Yarnspirations Karen Cotton Cakes, you can use one of these and make that bag. Or you can use any cotton or cotton blend as long as it's a medium number four and you have about three and a half to four ounces. Now this can be made also with acrylic. I just prefer the cotton or cotton blend for this bag. We're going to be stitching today with our J hook. This J hook is a 6.0 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle to weave in your ends and your scissors. We'll be starting down here at the bottom of the bag and then we'll work our way up the bag. We're going to begin with a slip knot and then we're going to chain 35 chains. Now I do recommend that you don't chain these too tightly because we're going to be stitching in them. One of the things that happens sometimes is when you're chaining your beginning chains, you chain too tightly and then it's puckered on one end. So make sure that you chain these 35 chains just a little bit loose. I've chained my 35 chains and what we're going to do is we're going to begin stitching in the second chain from the hook. We don't count the loop on our hook. This is our first chain and we're going to go in the second chain and stitch a single crochet. Go in, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through both loops and we'll place one single crochet in each of these chains across. And because we started in the second chain from the hook, we're going to have 34 single crochets. So just to repeat, I'm stitching one single crochet in each of the chains across and we started in the second chain from the hook. I've stitched one single crochet in each of the chains across. I have 34 single crochets. I'm going to chain one and the chain one does not count as a stitch, it's just a turning chain. And the reason it's called a turning chain is it means that it helps when you turn your rows for your rows to lay nicely when you begin your second row. We're going to begin in the first single crochet and we're going to stitch one single crochet in each of the single crochets across. one single crochet in each of the single crochets across. I've completed that row of single crochets. I'm going to chain one and turn. And what we're going to do for the next four rows is repeat row two. One single crochet in each single crochet across, chain one and turn. And we'll do that 
four more times. So we're repeating R2 four more times. I've stitched those four repeats, so now I have six rows of single crochet. This is the bottom of our bag. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and chain one and turn. Now, for row seven, we're going to be stitching in each single crochet. We're going to put three single crochets in the corner. We'll put five on the end and then three in the corner again. We'll stitch all the way down this side We'll stitch three single crochets in the corner, five single crochets on the end, and then end with three single crochets. And that way we're stitching all the way around the four sides of the bottom of the bag. All right, so we're gonna stitch across just like we did on the previous row, placing one single crochet and each single crochet across until we reach that next corner. I've single crocheted up to the corner. Now I'm going to place three single crochets right in this corner. One, two, and three. And this is gonna help it move around the corner nicely. And now I'm going to stitch five single crochets in the end. And the key to getting this to look nice is to stitch in the side of the stitch, not the holes if you can help it. All right, so one, two, try to get in that stitch, three, four, and we'll put the fifth one right in the end of that stitch. And it might be tight like that, like I did. All right, and so now we're at the end here. We're gonna put three single crochets in this corner. One, two, let me get that string out of the way there, and three. So we have three in this corner, five single crochets across, and then three single crochets in that corner. And now we're going to work down the other side of our chain. And we're just gonna stitch a single crochet in each of those chains. And we're moving down, and you're going to have the same number on this side of stitches that you had on this side. All right, so I'm just gonna keep working down, stitching one single crochet in each of those stitches of the opposite side of my chain till I reach the next corner. I've put a single crochet in each of those stitches of the other side of our chain and now I'm to the next corner and I need to do the same thing. I need to put three single crochets in this corner. One, two, three. And now I need to put five stitches across. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we'll end with three single crochets in this last spot, or this last corner. One, two, and three. It'll not drag along there. We're going to join to our first single crochet with a slip stitch and chain one. And that's how the bottom of your bag should look. We stitched across, we did the three single crochets, five across the bottom, three single crochets, we stitched across, three single crochets, five across this side, three single crochets, and then we joined to the first single crochet where we started. 
All right, so this next row, we're just going to place one single crochet in each of these stitches moving all the way around the bottom of our bag. We'll start right in that first single crochet and we'll just move working all the way around our bag, placing one single crochet in each stitch around. And as you stitch this row, you'll notice that your bag will start to um, curl up some. And that's exactly what we want it to do because we're starting to form the shape of the bottom of our bag. So just to repeat, like I always say, one single crochet in each of the single crochets around, moving all the way around our bag and then joining back to this first single crochet. I stitched that row of single crochet moving all the way around and you'll notice it's starting to curl up just a little bit and that's of course what we want it to do. And so for row nine, we're going to do the exact same thing. One single crochet in each of the single crochets around, all the way around the bottom of this bag, placing one single crochet in each single crochet, working all the way around the bottom of our bag, and then we'll join back to that first single crochet. And then we'll begin the sides of the bag with the mesh stitches. And that part works up really quickly. So just to repeat, one single crochet in each single crochet around and we'll join back to our first single crochet. So after row nine, this is the way that the bottom of your bag should look. It's a nice sturdy bottom that's going to be able to hold a lot of things without them falling through the bottom. And you can see the edges are curling up now and that's exactly what we want it to do, only this is going to be the outside of the bag. So when we begin stitching, you might want to curl your sides up because we're going to be starting our mesh stitch rows. To begin row 10, we're going to chain five. I've already chained one, so I'm going to chain four more. This chain five counts as a triple stitch and a chain one. We're going to skip the next stitch and stitch a triple stitch in the next. Two wraps on your hook, but not too tightly. Go in the stitch and pull up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through the first two. Yarn over, go through the second two. Yarn over and go through the third two. Chain one, skip the next stitch and triple in the next. And this is the repeat around this row. Triple stitch, chain one, skip one, triple stitch, chain one, skip one. Triple stitch, chain one, and skip one. And because we're using triple stitches is what makes this bag stitch up very quickly. And it makes a nice airy bag for the farmer's market. All right. Chain one, skip one, triple stitch in the next. Chain one, skip one, triple stitch in the next. And we will repeat this working all the way around our bag. And the reason you don't want to wrap those two wraps around so tightly is because you want them to be on there securely, 
but you don't want them to droop and make a droopy triple stitch. We want it still to be a nice, neat triple stitch. All right, so we're going to continue working around our bag, stitching the chain one, skip and triple stitch all the way around our bag. I've worked those stitches all the way around the triple chain one. I'm to my last one. I did a triple chain one and I'm going to join to the one, two, three, fourth chain because remember the chain five counts as a double or a triple crochet chain one. And then right here we're going to chain five. All right, so this next row, row 12, we're going to repeat what we've been doing. The only difference is we're going to be putting our triple stitches in our triple stitches. So here's our chain five that counts as a triple chain one. We're going to put a triple stitch right in the top of that triple and chain one. And then we'll do that again. Triple stitch in the triple chain one, triple stitch in the triple, chain one. And see how that mesh lines up? We'll continue to work this all the way around and then we'll join to the fourth chain of our five chain. And then we're going to repeat this row five more times so that we have a total of seven rows of the mesh. So we'll repeat row 12 five more times, stitching our triple, chain one, triple in our triples, chain one, all the way around and join to the fourth chain of our five chain. Then we'll chain five and repeat. I've repeated those five rows. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows of the triple chain one and triple for the mesh look of our bag. Now this is going to give you, once we get the trim and the handles on, about a 12 inch tall bag. If you want your bag to be longer, you can continue this as much as you like. Each row equals about an inch. So if you want this to be taller, just keep going with the mesh section before you put the trim and the handles on. Once we have completed the amount of rows that we want for the mesh section of our bag, we're going to join to that fourth chain and we're only going to chain one. This next row, we're going to be stitching a single crochet in the triple and then a single crochet in that chain one space. Single crochet in the triple and a single crochet in the chain one space. And this is going to give us a nice sturdy band and then we'll add a handle. And we'll work this all the way around the top of the bag, stitching a single crochet in the chain one space and a single crochet in the triple. And just to repeat, one single crochet in each of the triple stitches and one single crochet in each of the chain one spaces, working all the way around the top of our bag. And then we'll join back to our first single crochet. 
I've completed that row of single crochet working all the way around the top of my bag. I'm going to join to my first single crochet. I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to repeat, stitching one single crochet in each of those single crochets around. And again, we'll work these single crochets working all the way around the top of the bag, and then we'll join back to our first single crochet. I've completed that second row of single crochets, and now we're going to add the handle. And what we're going to do is we're going to place a single crochet in the first 15 stitches. So one, two, There's five, there's ten, and there's fifteen. Now we're going to chain 25. Five, two, three, four, five. That's 10. One, two, three, four, five. There's 15. One, two, three, four, five. There's 20. And one, two, three, four, and five. All right, so we have 25 chains. We're going to skip the next 15 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we'll go in the next one and stitch a single crochet. All right, so we have 15 single crochets. We chained 25 and we skipped 15 and we joined to the next uh, single crochet. So that's one, and we need to stitch 29 more so that we have 30 single crochets on this side. So that's one, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need to single crochet twenty more stitches. Twenty eight, twenty nine, and thirty. All right, so that's the side because fifteen and fifteen is thirty. And now we're going to repeat what we did here. We're going to chain twenty five. There's 20, or 10, sorry, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and we're again going to skip the next 15 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so we'll join to the next one with a single crochet. And that should leave us 15 stitches, or I should say 14 because this one counts as one.
There we go. There's our 15th stitch. And we're going to join to that first single crochet and chain one. All right. Now we have the handles, sort of, because <laughs> we have to go and single crochet around those handles as well. We want our handles to be sturdy. So what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet in each of these 15 stitches and then we're going to single crochet in each of the chains of the handles. Because our handles need to be sturdy. If we're going to fill it, our bag full of tomatoes and bananas or bread or whatever we're getting that day, we want our handles to be sturdy enough to hold up to what we're purchasing. All right, so there's those 15 stitches. And now we're going to stitch one single crochet in each of these chains. That first one's kind of tight there. All righty. So I single crocheted in those 15 stitches. I'm going to single crochet in these 25 chains and then I'll single crochet around, around this handle as well, and then back around and join to my first single crochet. Single crochets can be a little more time consuming, but we want to have a good sturdy handle like I was saying earlier. I would be devastated if I just bought some wonderful fruit or vegetables and my bag broke or my handle broke. All right, I'm almost finished with the handle. chain then I'll single crochet in the single crochet and work on around the bag stitching one single crochet in each single crochet and one single crochet in each of the chains on the other handle I've completed that row of one single crochet in each of the chains and in each of the single crochets I've joined back to my first single crochet and this is our last row, and we're just going to do a row of single crochets just to give our bag a little bit sturdier of a band at the top and a sturdier handle. If you made your bag a little bit longer, you might want to do a third row on the handles because your bag's going to be holding more stuff. It's up to you how comfortable you feel with the sturdiness of the handle. I like having a nice sturdy band. I like having a nice sturdy handle on my bags when I'm shopping. So for our very last row, we're just stitching one single crochet in each of the single crochets around moving all the way around across our bag and the handles again to make it nice and sturdy. And when we get back around, we'll join to our single crochet and tie off. I completed this last row. And like I said, if you feel like you want to put another row on there of single crochets, you want your bag handle to be just a little bit more sturdy, you can. It's your bag. You do what you want, right? <laughs> I joined to my first single crochet. I'm going to cut my yarn and I'm going to tie off. I'm going to go ahead and pull that string to the inside and I'll use my needle to weave that in real quick like. There we go. And we'll just weave that in with our needle. And I really love this yarn that I'm using, this Karen Cotton Cakes, 
makes a really pretty and sturdy bag. It's a plus if it's sturdy, and it's a super plus if it's pretty. <laughs> All righty, let's clip that string off. So here is the completed cotton shopping bag crochet pattern made with the Karen Cakes, and I really love how the colors flowed and how pretty it is, and I also love that it's good and sturdy, and I'm very excited to take this with me shopping this afternoon.